right, hello everybody. It is I, Ben, and I'm here at Dave & Buster's, and this is a little bit of a special video because today I am trying to win for Auni some sort of special prizes to get her for Mother's Day. Now, I know Auni's not my mom, but she is a great mom, and she's the mother to our son, Orson, and she's a fantastic mother. So, Auni, whenever you're watching this video, just know that I love you, and you are a great mom, and you are the best mom, and uh, Orson also wanted me to let you know that as well. He loves you and he thinks you're doing a great job. But anyway, today I'm at Dave & Buster's and I'm trying to win as many tickets as I can with only about 100 credits. Uh, that's all I have in my card, about 100 credits. And uh, I'm going to try to win as many tickets as I can so I can win some prizes for Auni to give to her for Mother's Day from myself and Orson. One of the things I want to get her is a higher ticket item. And uh, I think we'll have enough to get that, but there's some other little fun tchotchke things that I want to get her as well. But what Auni doesn't know, excuse me, is that I also have another surprise in store for her. Uh, she doesn't know this, and this is probably going to be in a different video. At least part of it will be in a different video. But uh, I have a surprise for Auni, and it's a pretty good surprise, I think. But I'm not going to let you know exactly what the surprise is. You're going to have to wait till the end of the video to see what the surprise is. But we're going to surprise Auni together with it. And there's some other things that I have that kind of make up the surprise again. Some you'll have to wait for another video to kind of wait for and watch and see. But one of the other things I can tell you about now, as far as uh, what I'm going to get her, is I got her one of those little like lounge fly backpacks. She kind of said she wanted one. She'd been looking at them, so she wasn't so sure. So I got her one of these lounge fly backpacks, which I got from Hot Topic, and it's a Studio Ghibli, the Kiki's delivery service kind of themed. So I'm hoping that she will enjoy that. But uh, I have to wait for that to come in, and then I can pick it up at Hot Topic. So if it comes, hopefully in time before Mother's Day and before this other surprise, I will show that to you. So that's one aspect of the surprise, and then I'll have some of these other things that I win here at Dave & Buster's, trying to win for her to add to that. And then the big surprise, which we will reveal and show you Auni's reaction at the end of the video. And then you'll be on the lookout for some other videos or another video kind of going a little bit more detail with some of the specifics about whatever this surprise is. So I know that's a lot of explaining and a lot of talking. So I'm going to go play some games now, win some tickets, and then we'll go to the prize center and try to pick out some nice things for Auni to let her know how much we love her and appreciate her on this Mother's Day. But first, let's win some tickets. Well, this is the best way that I know how to win tickets, and that is by playing Down the Clown. So we'll see if we can win tickets, depending on how many balls are in this machine. And there's four balls in the machine. So I don't think we're gonna be beating Down the Clown. Oh my goodness, Dave and Broken, I'm trying to do nice things for my wife. You're making it impossible. Yes, there are five balls total in the machine, and they're taking very long to come out. Oh my goodness. About as fast as I'm throwing them is as fast as they're coming out of the machine. Oh boy, not a good way to start. All right, well, Down the Clown was a total dud. So instead we'll try Tailgate Toss. At least it looks like there's enough bean bags in this machine. So we'll see how we do. Let's try to win some Tailgate Toss. Oh, that's not a good way to start. I'm not sure what the new scoring system is on this either. They redid the scoring where it's not like in the 10,000s anymore so I still have to kind of figure that out so we're not doing very well as far as getting a good score here I also don't want to beat it by too much but I do want to like make sure that I beat it I don't know if we did so the score to beat is 3,000 or is 6,530 let's see if we got that I don't think we did no, we got 5,800. So I need to get like two streaks. That's worth 500 a piece. All right, we'll try again. I'm gonna hit play again. We're gonna keep things going here. We have 75.9 credits left on our card. Let's start with the red. So there's that one. There's the blue one. All right, let's go back to the blue. Oh, might as well go green now, odds there. That's an extra 1,500. 
That's... I don't even know how to count. I got that one. I think we got enough. I'm just going to throw a few more in there. We'll stop right there. I think that's going to be enough to get the, the bonus. I think I beat it by way too much. Because that's 1,000, 2,000, 3,000. Yeah, oh, I beat it by way too much. I could have just kept playing this game over and over again and won a ton of tickets. Oh no, what have I done? Now the score to be is 8,020. Yuzu Strikes Back would be very upset at me if you watched this video. We did just win 500 tickets, which is nice. And I'm going to play again and beat it again. But uh, I'll have to do the math. i got to figure the math out on this so I can make sure I only beat it by as little as possible so you can maximize. I could probably beat this based on that score and how much it goes up. I could probably beat this, I don't know, six times or so. That's a cool 3,000 tickets. But let's play again. We'll keep it rolling here. We'll do one more time live. We'll just try to beat our score of 8,020. We'll win another 500 tickets so we get a nice cool 1,000 tickets on the card. So here we go. Wait for these bags to come out. I feel like we lost some bags or something. Go back to the red. Go back to the blue. Another one in blue. There we go. Go back to red. All right. Oh, I don't think I counted the bonus. I don't think we beat it. We had to be 8,000, oh there it goes, it just counted that last one. We had to be 8,020. Mewtwo strikes back, don't be mad at me. Sorry. You don't know who he is. Talk to JJ General. Yeah, we beat it by way too much. 8,900, score to beat. But there's another 500 tickets. So that's a good way to add to our total. i show you here. There it goes. All right, let's go play some more games. Well, what kind of arcade video would it be if I didn't play Crossy Road, Aoni's least favorite game because of the anxiety it caused her at least one time as I try to win prizes for Aoni? So we'll play Crossy Road one time, see how far we get. If I beat 154, I do win a jackpot, so that would be nice. So we'll see if we can at least beat 154 tickets. Not sure if we will, but we'll give it a try. for this train to come by, hopefully. I don't think it's going to. Oh my. Almost died right there. Oh, I hate these stupid things. I hate when the logs go like that. It's like, when to jump? When is the guy supposed to jump? I guess right there. All right, we survived that. That was nerve-wracking. Look at all this greenery. That's what I like to see. This is all frowny. She's not here to appreciate the anxiety-driven game, but uh, that's okay. Hopefully she's watching this later and appreciating this anyway, because we appreciate her as a mom. All right, we can jump onto that first train track and be safe. Close to that 154 that we have to beat to get, at least get the regular jackpot. How crazy would it be if uh, we ended up winning the all-time high score on this day that we're trying to win something for Aoni? That'd be nuts. I'm not gonna get my hopes up though. Ooh, that was very close to having our little chicken's body demolished. We gotta get on our move and groove in here. There we 
we go. All right, so we do have the jackpot, so that's good. At least we'll be able to add to our ticket total with the regular jackpot. know if everything's staying in frame here. I'm honestly not too concerned about that right now. We're having a decent run here, so we'll see if we can keep it going. I might get swooped up by a bird. Ah, we survived that a little bit as well. Oh boy. Wow, pretty good run here. Oh. All right, that first train track is gonna be safe. I should have gone right there. It's okay. I think the second train track is safe as well. A lot of traffic to get through in this section. You gotta be a little bit patient here. Ah, 227, yeah, we were gonna run off the bottom of the screen, but hey, that's pretty good, 228 plus 250. So a decent amount of tickets that we're able to add to the total. Try to get some nice prizes, frowny for Mother's Day. Well, not that this game really requires any skill, but we'll see if we get lucky and maybe we'll win the thousand on the Pirate's Wheel. We'll see how we do. Round and round and round. 9.9 .9 credits on a non-Wednesday hurts my soul. But what would help my soul is a proper relationship with our Lord and Savior Jesus Christ and a thousand tickets. Or 90. All right, well, I have kind of a weird setup here, but I'm gonna go ahead and give Hyper Pitch a try. It's been a while since I played this game again. So right now, the score to beat is 5,002, and you win 506 tickets. I've never been able to get a jackpot on this game, so it would be a good time for one. You gotta get it right in the middle and throw it fast. That was a terrible throw. Way too low. Try again here. That was right in the middle. That was worth 1,331. Still a ways off from what we need to get the jackpot, though. Ah, too low there again. 746 points for that throw. So our total was 2,400. And 35, that's about a little bit more than halfway from what we need to win the jackpot. I'm going to try one more time here. Single player, we got to get that bonus. Got to hit the center target every time. Ah, missed it. It's all about that center target. Missed it again. And again. All right, I'm going to try one more time. I didn't hit the bullseye once that time. It's tough because you have to get good speed uh, with accuracy. I wonder if I should just try to hit the center thing. I, I'm not going to worry about speed. I'm just going to try to hit the center thing every time. We'll see if we can at least do that. Here we go, first throw. Oh, it didn't even count. I definitely hit the center. That didn't even hit the center. That definitely looked like it hit the center. That's a center shot there. So just throwing it like that and hitting the center is 736 as a score. So you wouldn't even be able to beat this game that way. All right, Hyper Pitch is not the game to play for tickets right now. We'll go on to something else. This is a game that Auni plays. I don't know if she, I was gonna say she likes to play. I don't know if she likes to play it. But she plays from time to time. Dizzy Chicken. So we're gonna hit that ball. That light is right there. Oh, too hard. JJ General was watching one of our other videos and he noticed the, uh, the bubble is definitely way far off. This machine is not level. All right, we're gonna try one more time. We have 17.8 credits left. Let's see if we can win at least 500 tickets. We can get it to the green. 
Oh, that's way too fast. I hit that lighter than I did last time and went further. This game doesn't make sense to me. Ah! Dizzy chicken. Dizzy chicken makes me dizzy. Also makes me sick. All right, I'm gonna go one more time. Then we have enough to play one more game after this, basically. We have 11 credits, so we'll call it one more game. All right, a nice lentil, lentil. A nice gentle light. Oh, get in the red, get in the red, get in the red. All right, we got 150 tickets, I'll take that. I'll take the 150, that's good. One more game to play. Let's go play it, see what we win, and then we'll go to the prize center together and pick out some prizes for Brownie. Well, it wouldn't be much of a video if we didn't at least try one time. See, I only got 1.1 left. I could play ski ball, but I won't. One time on Big Bass Wheel. We'll give it a big spin. It says good spin on the good spinometer. Let's see what we can win, Ownie. On this Mother's Day approaching, 40 tickets. Anticlimactic. Let's go to the prize center. All right, so on this card, we have 22,445. And on this card, we have 36,062. So 22,000 plus 36,000. Let me crunch my numbers here. How many does that give us? 22 plus 36, 22 plus 36 equals 58. So one of the things that I'm going to get Aoni, which I uh, will show you in a second, because there's some people over there, that is AirPods, Apple AirPods, which are 50,000 tickets. So that basically gives me 6,000 more tickets left to spend. So let's see if we can find some things that we think Aoni would like that are no more than 6,000 tickets. Maybe this sticker that says Glock Out. I think she would love this sticker. Simply La Amazing behind it. These are only 50 tickets a piece, too. I'll get her this one that says Glock Out. Why? I don't know, just because. But here's the AirPods. You see the Apple AirPods right there. So they have some more over here. But you see 50,000 tickets. I think they're just Series 1. But her, well, her, she had some, but they stopped working, so I think I'll get that for her. So we'll get some Apple AirPods. Let's see what else is over here. This is more more the type of things that she might like would be. I think she would like this. These little bath fizzers. She does get a bath subscription box. I think she would. It always comes with a little floof in there, too. So I think I'll get her some of these bath fizzers here. Anything else here that I think she would enjoy? Mini fan, wireless charger. There's a lucky cat light. She might enjoy a lucky cat light. Oh, I'll have to get her one of these little tube guys. That's her spirit animal. Well, my camera's about to run out of battery, so I will continue to look around, but I will come back to you later and show you exactly what it is that we got. But definitely the AirPods, definitely these little bath fizzers, definitely this sticker that says Guac Out, because why not? So I'll be back, and I'll show you what we picked out for Annie. Okie doke, well, I am back from Dave & Buster's, I'm sure as you can see, and uh, I'm in the office here at home, and I wanted to take you through the prizes that I picked out for Aoni. You did see some of them, and I talked about some of them, but the battery and the camera was dying, so I had to get my stuff in and leave. But I'll take you through some of the stuff that I got. You already saw this bad boy, this guacamole uh, sticker that says guac out, so you saw that. So I picked that up. I don't really know why. I don't, I don't think she'll really like it, but she does scrapbooking and she also likes avocados and guacamole. So maybe, I don't know. I got this little mint aromatherapy putty. It's aromatherapy putty and it may boost energy, improve focus and reduce stress. I got this because Annie does like mint and uh, I don't know. Maybe it'll be like a relaxing thing for her, so I thought that was interesting. But it was only like a couple hundred tickets, so I thought I'd give it a try. But some mint aromatherapy. Also got Annie a box of Nerds, which is her one of her favorite uh, candies. So I got her some Nerds, so hopefully she will enjoy that. You saw this that I picked out. This little spaffle thing, it's called. These are... Bath fizzer bars with a sponge, which you can see the little floof 
floof thing in there. And it says in the back, remove bath fizzer bar from package, drop a piece of the bar into a freshly drawn bath, or use a full bar for a highly aromatic soak. Enjoy the instant fizzing sensation and cleansing experience. So I decided to get this. It's got peony, rose, vanilla infused with dry, dried petals. So it should smell pretty nice. But uh, I've, for Christmas, I got Aoni the uh, uh, subscription box, a Sudsley subscription box, which has some like bath bombs, soaps, and that kind of thing. And because uh, I would normally go to like Lush or let her go to Lush and get some stuff. But I decided to do that subscription box. So she's really been enjoying that. And uh, she still has that, but I thought, you know, maybe this will add to kind of some of the stuff that she has in there. So I pick that up. <clears throat> I also, I'm really excited about this one. I got this thing, the Wacky Waving Inflatable Tube Guy. And the reason why I got this for Aoni is because you would really have to be a dedicated fan of the channel to know this. But we were at the New York State Fair one year and randomly... Aoni just starts like waving her arms around and like bending everywhere. And I'm like, what is she doing? And I looked and there was one of these wacky waving inflatable tube things uh, that was there at the fair and it was going all crazy. And Aoni just started following it. So I recorded it and I didn't know when I was gonna put it in a video. And I don't even remember which video it is, but there's like one random intro to one of our arcade videos where I'm recording Aoni and you just see her and she's like walking away from me and she's doing all that weird wacky stuff. And then I just pan up and it's one of these guys going crazy. So I saw this and I knew I had to get it for her because I've always joked that that's her like her family. Whenever we drive by one on the road, I'm like, look, it's your cousin. But uh, it's a 17 inch waving tube band whose battery powered fan base lets some wiggle shake and dance just like the real thing. Plus a 32 page mini book exploring his surprising origins. So I think she will enjoy that. She'll think that's really funny. So that's kind of fun to pick up there. Also got this for her. This is a Lucky Cat light with a waving arm. Uh, it does require two AA batteries, which I think we have. So I'll have to get those in there for her. But I got this because, um, I don't know, she, she always mentions them, talks about them whenever we're at like round one. And they have a lot of Japanese, Chinese type, uh, I guess just Asian type things and so I just thought this would be kind of funny for her. I could see this putting her putting this next to her her bed on a uh, on the nightstand or something and just letting the little cat wave around but anyway so I got that and then the last thing I got was of course the AirPods and she has AirPods but they haven't been working I don't know like one of them went bad or something I'll see if I can fix them because I was actually using them more than she was for uh, when I would like run I would wear them uh, which they were nice for that but uh, she did mention, you know, maybe she should get some new ones. So these aren't like the Series 2 ones, I don't think. I think this is just Series 1, I'm pretty sure. And uh, yeah, just regular AirPods. But I got those to replace the ones that she had, so hopefully she'll enjoy these. But what I'm going to do is I'm going to take all this stuff and I'm going to put it in the backpack thing that I got her. And so she'll get the backpack and then I'll tell her to like open it up and she can see all these other like goodies and prizes that are that are in there. So I will give her all of that probably on like Saturday, which I know is before Mother's Day, but I'll, if the backpack comes in time, because I had to order it online and then I had to get it shipped to the store because I didn't want to get it shipped to the house so that way she wouldn't open it up and see what it is. So I gotta go pick it up at the store. And today is Thursday, the week before Mother's Day. So like not this Sunday, but next Sunday is Mother's Day. So I'm hoping it will come in time before Mother's Day so I can pick it up from the store, put all these goodies inside of it. And then I think on Saturday, I will tell her, uh, like I'll give her that and give her these things and then tell her what the surprise is because she will need a little bit of a heads up uh, so she can prep. Not a lot, but a little bit of a heads up so she can prep before Sunday so uh, I can, she can enjoy the surprise. Uh, so that will be coming up. But I'll, I'll be recording it. I'll record when she gets the, the backpack and her opening up all these things, and that'll be part of this video. So stay tuned, be on the lookout for that. And then we'll reveal what the big surprise is gonna be. And then a different video, we will uh, kind of show you more about that surprise and you can look out, be on the lookout for that. But, and also I ordered flowers for her as well, which are coming in, they're getting delivered um, because there were some like, huge discount coupon thing in like the T-Mobile Tuesday app or whatever. And uh, 
there were flowers you could get delivered to the house. I've never done anything like that before, but I thought I'd give it a try. So she's getting flowers delivered, and I think those are getting delivered on Wednesday, like May 5th or something like that. Um, so she'll get flowers, which will be early, and then later in the week, hopefully, I'll give her the backpack with all these goodies. So stay tuned, and I'll show you the flowers. <coughs> Excuse me. And I will show you her reaction to opening up the backpack with all these fun things and the big surprise at the end of the video. Stay tuned. See ya in a bit. Happy Mother's Day. It's a Mother's Day surprise. Go ahead and sit in the Mother's Day chair. You gotta sit in your Mother's Day chair. Orson, we're gonna watch your mom, okay? This is from Orson, his, you're his mom. Oh, all right, well, uh, uh, let me get up here. Okay, go ahead and open up that box there. This one? Yep. Is it already? It is. Yeah, it's uh, cut open, that's backwards there. There you go. It says, just for you. Is there like a nice little sentimental card? Uh, don't know. Happy Mother's Day to the best mom in the world. Love you. Love Orson and Ben. Wow, that's you, Orson. That was awesome. <laughs> oh, I think it's actually attached in there. It is. So let me get you some scissors. I'll Wait. be right back. Oh. Happy Mother's Day, Orson. That is <laughs> Such a creepy look. Happy Mother's Day. Hopefully they'll fluff out. Hopefully. Yeah, I've never ordered flowers through the mail before, but never, it's almost like my bouquet. Oh wow! It's exactly like my bouquet. Wow! Thanks. Yep. Smells like flowers. There you go. Well, we'll have to find a vase. I think we there's probably some vase lying around can we somewhere. Put, can we just put it in that pitcher? Um, pitcher? Yeah, probably so. That would probably look nice that way. Thanks. All right. So you're welcome, ma'am. <laughs> oh, he's getting the next the next box ready for you. All right, buddy boy. I wouldn't put your hands on the box because we gotta lift it up to mommy. All right. Yep. Okay. Say so there you go, mommy. Happy Mother's Day. Oh, you did it. I did it. Orson did. Now you can play with this box, son. There you go. Go crazy. It's a Kiki's Delivery Service backpack. Fly. Yeah, look. There it lounge is. Fly. I don't know if it's technically oh, it's lounge not. fly, no, but, but it's, it's perfect. the same sort of thing. Yeah. Oh, it's Hot Topic. That's why. Yeah. But I thought, we thought you'd like the Kiki's one. I do. And it's this nice little pattern. Yeah. Yeah. I like it a lot. And now if you open up the top, there's some prizes in there for you. You and Daddy went overboard. Oh, wow. Oh, my. Yeah. Wow. There's a spa life bath with your bars with sponge. Yeah. Is that true? It says... Fun, cool stickers. Walk out. Yep. <laughs> These are just prizes from David Buster's. <laughs> you see that? Aromatherapy putty. Ooh, that's actually kind of nice. Maybe when I start getting Ooh. stressed out. Ooh. What is this? What is this? 
that's the best thing probably in Wacky, there. Wacky, wavy, inflatable tube guy. <laughs> yeah. And it even comes with a book of like the history of the, <laughs> the your spirit animal. <laughs> oh my word. <laughs> this is nerds. Because mommy needs to rot out her teeth more after eating all those macarons. Mm -hmm. <laughs> Looks like Orson's stealing the putty. Lucky cat light. <laughs> yeah, I don't know. It does have a waving <laughs> arm. <Yeah. laughs> Put that in the office. Wow, thanks, babe. Yep. And then you gotta check the front pocket. <sighs> Having a hard time breathing here. Yep. There you go. No headphones, so they actually work. Yep. Yeah. You say yep. Thanks, babe. <clears throat> well, also Orson, because yeah, thank you, Orson. Thank you. He, you want to play with the aromatherapy putty? Yeah, he says I want that sticker. Where am I gonna put the sticker, Orson? I just thought it was a funny looking sticker. Now, I know you're probably wondering why am I doing this early for you because there's another surprise and I had to tell you early so that way you could mentally prepare yourself and also physically prepare for whatever things. But also on Sunday after church, we're going to leave the three of us and we're going to go to Ithaca, New York, which is an hour away. And we have a one night reservation to stay in a place called La Tourelle, which is a hotel and spa, which I've booked for you. <laughs> a, a 90 minute massage on Sunday. And then we just get to stay there. And then we get uh, breakfast in the morning on the next day at the hotel. Yep, so a happy Mother's Day to you. So that's why I'm telling you early. So that you can prepare, so we can pack all the stuff for us. But Sunday, after church is done, we'll leave and we'll go to, we'll drive out there. And we got early check-in, and I think your massage is at like 3 or 4 or 3.30 or something like that. And then, uh, yeah, we'll just enjoy the rest of the night there. And we wake up and have a nice breakfast and then there's some hiking trails around so that's one of the reasons why I got that backpack so we can hike with Orson and look at some waterfalls and it'll be a nice time yeah yeah so it's a little early Mother's Day surprise and we've I've recorded all of me getting this stuff at the arcade and everything and 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 so this is a, a big thing this is the culmination okay, of okay. all of our efforts I get it so yeah so happy Mother's Day to you. Thank you. Thank from you, myself Orson. and from Baby O. Thank you, Orson. Are you stuck? Thank I think you, he's Orson. stuck. <laughs> All right. Well, that's it. Say thanks for watching. Don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe. And we'll have some videos or like a vlog type video probably from our experience at the, in Ithaca. So you can be on the lookout for that sometime later but this video is coming out on sunday mother's day uh, so happy mother's day to all you mothers and then happy mother's day to Auni, and then be on the lookout for the little vlog videos from from ithaca to see what it was like there so that's gonna do it don't forget to like comment subscribe see you in the next one thanks for watching bye happy mother's day